Hey everyone, Keith Locke here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, um, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to manipulate the navigation menus on your WordPress site. Now, a lot of times by default, what happens is a navigation menu is created, and every new page that gets created shows up in this menu. Um, so, if you create a thank you page, for example, it's gonna show up there, which is probably not what you're what you're after. So, you have the ability to completely manipulate. Um, these menus um, very easily. Now, first step, go over to Appearance and then Menus. And this will show you um, everything that you have right now. Um, let's first check over Manage Locations. I just want to show you something in here. Now this gets populated, this um, table here gets populated based on the current theme that you have activated. So that theme, in this case, this the theme that I'm working with only has one menu. Um, it only supports one menu, which is the main menu at the top of the site. Um, other themes may have two, three, four, five menus. Um, it just depends entirely on the theme. And here you have the option to um, assign any menu that you created to this location. So to the main menu location, I have the option to, sign, uh, to assign any of the menus that I've created. Um, but let's assume there's no menus created right now and we're gonna create one from scratch. All right, let's go back to the Edit Menus tab, which is the default tab when you click on Appearance and then Menus. So we're gonna go to, we're on Edit Menus, and let's take a look at Screen Options, because right now, um, by default you only see pages but you have the ability to add more than just pages to your to your menu um, everything's selected in my case but I just want to show you up here you click on screen options and then you can select um, the different things that you want um, to be able to show on the left side here so I can add format and I can see now there's a format menu I'm not entirely sure what that is so I'm gonna leave that off and I like to specify the link target sometimes and the link relationship. And you, can, you also have the ability to add descriptions, but that's entirely um, specific to a theme. Not a lot, not all themes support um, adding a description to menu items. And you can specify a different class for CSS that's a little bit more advanced. I'm gonna leave that unchecked as well. Okay, and I'm gonna hide the screen options tab here. All right, so now these are all the different options. Um, I can edit an existing menu or I can create a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to delete this test one and recreate it. Okay, so click on the create a new menu link. And the first thing you want to do is give it a name. Click create menu. All right. So now let's look at the menu settings. You can act. You can from here, rather than going to manage locations, you can actually give. You can assign a location for this for this new menu that you created. So in our case, in this case here, there's only one location. So I'm just going to select that, and that's what's going to. That's where this new menu is going to show up in this location on the theme. All right, and once you once you save the menu and you visit your site, you visit the home page and refresh, you'll see all the menu items that you added to your new menu show up. So if you're not exactly sure where the location is on your website for this menu, it'll be obvious later once you as you start adding menu items. And now you have also have the option to automatically add new pages um, to this menu. So anytime a new page is created, it gets added. But we want to make this really custom, so we're going to leave that unchecked. All right, I'm going to click on Save. All right, now what I want to do, um, I have the option now to add pages. So I have one page here. I'm going to click Add to Menu. And you can actually add posts if you want, like specific posts. So I'm going to add a post on there. And this is if you want to add custom links. A lot of times people add links to their home page. Um, so they might put home and then, you know, the URL for the home page or any external link um, to any other website. It looks like here now you can actually add home. Um, this might be a new feature with WordPress. I'm not really sure. 
Okay, so yeah, again, you can add custom links in here. So you just put in the URL and then the link text and click add to menu. And you can also add categories. Now by default, it's only gonna show categories that have content within, within them. You can click view all to see every, every single category. And same with tags, you can actually add links in your menus to tag archives. All right, now a couple things I wanna show you here. You can, you can change the order of these menu items and you can also indent one so it, look, so it becomes a sub menu um, and that entirely depends on if your theme supports sub menus or not it, ha it would have to create CSS to, for that to happen but you can um, you can save the menu and check it out on the site to see if um, a sub menu was in fact created alright so another thing you can do here drop down this arrow here you can click just and drop it down so now you're gonna these are the settings for this particular menu item and by default this is a page become a writer you can you can actually change that label to be uh, to be whatever you want and you can give the pay you can give that menu item a title attribute which will show up when when somebody hovers over it um, you have the option if you want to open this link in a new tab or window and again that comes from here um, link target since that's checked I have the option for that but if it was unchecked if you don't see it there it's because that's unchecked in there so click on link target and then that option shows up there and link relationship um, you might you might uh, um, choose no follow for example if this is a, an affiliate link if you're making a custom link and it's an affiliate link um, you might might want to make it a no follow link and that's that option is only available if you choose link relationship XFN from here or you might no follow a, a link back to the home page for example so that um, that's what link relationship is there you go um, same with posts of course we wouldn't want this menu item to be uh, that large so we might just change it to something a little bit smaller all right and then you can you can also within this drop down here um, we can we can move the instead of dragging and dropping we can actually use these links to uh, to change the position uh, of where these menu items show up and then we can also delete them and cancel any changes that we made. All right, and once everything's done, we just click on Save Menu, and then we can visit the site to see the actual menu. So at the top of the page here, right for us, and that new link that we created there. So that's how it works. Um, it's as simple as that. Again, start off by going under Appearance and then Menus, and then remember all your options that you want are under Screen Options. Make sure you select all the ones that you're, you want to work with, and your locations will be defined under the Manage Locations tab. All right, that's it. Again, it's Keith Locke, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.